The new Hillsboro Sports Complex project in Helena will cost $58 million. City leaders say it will not raise taxes for Helena residents. ABC 3340's Austin Pratt attended the city's pre-council work session tonight. And Austin, how is the city able to pay for this without raising taxes? Muriel, the money for the complex comes from five different funds. The general utility use tax, one cent fund, and capital from diverted funds. By splitting the cost and building in one year phases, city leaders say the cost should not be felt by residents. The 90 acre Hillsboro Sports Complex in Helena will include 16 tennis courts, two baseball fields, a disc golf course, and much more. Helena Mayor Brian Puckett says the estimated cost will be $58 million. We are financially not biting off anything that we can't chew later on down the road. To cover the cost, money is being pulled from five different funds over four one-year building phases. The phases will complete different sections of the complex in order of importance to the community. The first phase will include the baseball fields, tennis court, and splash pad. Council President Alice Lobel has spoken to residents about their concerns. A lot of them are concerned about finances. I would say um, a lot of them are concerned that their taxes may go up. That is not in the plan. The plan aims to divert enough from each fund so that there is not any reduction in city services. Less than a quarter of any given fund will be diverted to the project. Residents say it may be costly, but is a needed investment for the city. Well, I mean, it, it'll bring more teams in, which means more money for, for Helena. Um, it'll bring uh, more families in uh, to Helena. Because they can start hosting tournaments and things like that and bring more people into the city. Lobel says tournaments are a source hey, of Matt. pride and children who live in Helena are looking forward to having them in their own city. And so that is definitely first and foremost in our minds when we built this, that we could host some different tournaments and, and bring people into our city, which in turn does bring revenue. The city is hoping to break ground on the project in November, and city leaders hope everything in the first phase will be open within 12 months. Brenda? Austin Pratt reporting community members